Hi guys. Ready to score our baguettes? Ready, ready. All right, I gotta get right towards the oven. So, you get you guys mounted back up here in your little spot. Let's see, can you see me? Okay. I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see it better. Baguettes, baguettes. Okay. Now, you need a fresh, never used, clean razor blade. Clean. Unless you happen to have a lamb at home, spelled L-A-M-E, which is a curved blade on a stick. But, let's be honest, nobody has those at home. So, mind you, I'm out of practice, so I'm going to do my damnedest. So, we're going to take this and we're going to score like this. A traditional baguette has five scores. Five. So here goes nothing. Oh, wait a minute. That's still our bottom side. Flip them. Normally we would do this right on our, um, that thingamabobber in the oven. The, uh, what do you call it? Our pizza stone. <laughs> Duh, Kara. But because that's in the oven and we're probably going to end up smacking our hands we're going to do it here for instead so fingers like this and you're going to go in this motion okay not going to say those are the prettiest scores but I'm out of practice <sighs> I'm hoping this baguette turns out the prettiest because it looks like it might. All right, I'm gonna try and tilt you guys up so you can see my very messy work area over there. So you can see me put these in the oven. I hope you can see. You won't get to see my bum. Sorry about that, I know, traumatizing, right? Okay, so my oven's very hot burning off something in there. I'm going to very carefully transfer these. Normally we would have a much, much gentler method of transferring, but because, and I rolled these, I rolled these too long for my darn thing. So, we're going to get these on there the best we can without stretching them any farther. They might curve under a little. I should have made these about half the size they are. But you know what? Maybe we'll do another one and use pre-ferments. A pat ferment. Okay. Now, important. Get that in there before you close it. Get out your cubes, ice cubes. Mine are not fully set because I forgot. So I'm throwing what I have in there. The equivalent of about four or five cubes because mine are only half full right now. And I'm closing the oven. This is your initial steam. This steam is important. And to keep your oven closed, the steam is important because it will keep a crust from forming on top of your baguette um, before it sets and before it has a chance to fully rise. And if that happens, then you get tearing, you get ugliness in the cuts that you made. Um, so now it's going to take, since these are a little smaller than what it was originally planned, I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes. I'm going to check them in 20 minutes. Um, but at about the 15 minute mark, I'm going to consider propping my oven open. Reason being, you want to let that steam out because you want to get a nice, thin, crispy crust on the outside. And the way to do that is to release the steam from the oven. So check back in 15 minutes. We will come back and we will see what is happening. They're already starting to open up a little. You want to see before I go? You want to see? All right, here. Be through the oven door. But can you see how those slits have already? I know you can't see past that dumb grate. 
Can you see how those slits have already popped open? If I move, it's a little bit easier. That's because it's already baking. The heat is already getting to them, which is just positively glorious. Glorious! Sorry you guys have to hear me sing constantly. But man, I get excited about baking. Especially this stuff. I think maybe, just maybe, I'll make another batch tonight of Pouliche and do some, uh, do some round, round ones, a round baguette with a beautiful like, crisscross cut on top that kind of explodes open almost like a crown. It's really kind of pretty. So, and then I'll be able to show you how to actually round into a circle, into a boule. Um, but check, check back 15 minutes and we'll, uh, we'll see what these puppies are doing, okay? Come back.